Hello again, fans and flamers. It is I, Cobra One, with more Let's Play Imperishable Night, and hopefully Let's Learn Imperishable Night as well. In this case, we'll be going through 4B this time with, with the Netherworld team. Yeah, once again, we're shoving Raymo to the side. Oh, it's like we don't care about her. Oh, that poor Shrine Maiden. Oh, ah, screw her. That's what she gets for fighting us last time, right? Well, in either case, we're going through as the Netherworld team, just to give you an idea of what 4B is like. Now, to, of note, this is basically, basically the same as 4A. The only, as I said before, the only difference will be the boss you fight. Or bosses, as the case may be. So, therefore, if you follow the same pattern, it's pretty much the same, it's pretty much the same, it's pretty much the same way to defeat it. Just do whatever you did previously that worked in the stage, and it works just fine here. No tricks, no special, no special moves. Just basically do what do what worked before. Of course, in this case, you'll have more of the power shooters on your side, but you get the idea. Just. For note before we get there, I'm not that good against fighting against Marissa, so most likely I'm going to die a couple of times. Still, I'll give you I'll do the best of my ability to show you basically what you need to do. I don't know, maybe I just get distracted by her song. I like I like Love Colored Magic, okay? Or in this case Love Colored Master Spark. All right then. Cue Marissa. And now it's time to start the fight. Start immediately with normal shots. And aim for the familiars. If you're lucky, you can take a few out before they get really dangerous. And they will get dangerous. The first part is Milky Way, and it's a doozy. You've got to dodge between these stars, watch out for the little stars on the side, and basically it's just a mishmash of bullets. Aim as best you can on Marissa, since you'll be using either the Netherworld team or else the Boundary team, that shouldn't be too hard to keep, keep her on target. Now you'll get the star maze. Once again, try to take out a familiar or two as quickly as possible. Yeah, this is. I, I always wind up using a bomb or getting crashed during that stage. Don't worry. Now the card I hate the most Stardust Reverie. This card is just nasty. You've got to basically follow along with the galaxy of stars, slip through, slip through again, and then slip back in as they continued making another star set, and repeat. Trying your best not to get hit. It's not an easy card. I might have made it look easy, but that's not an easy card. More blo more blobs of time orbs. And don't worry, two more will show up just to make your life miserable. But fortunately, they're carrying bombs, as noted. And Marissa again. Once again, keep your normal shots on. You'll want to blow up as many stars again in this pattern.
And we move on to non-directional laser. A lot of people complain about this card, but it's not really that hard. Just weave back and forth. Only the center of the star will actually hurt you. Only the center of those huge stars will actually hurt you. So as long as you keep waving in and out, you should be fine. Naturally, focus shots are the winners here. And again, moving on to normal shots, but she'll do, this time, more of a spinny field. As long as you stay focused and aimed on her, she'll get taken down rather quickly. Just don't use focused shots, use normal shots. And now on to her signature card, Master Spark. The trick? Lure her shots elsewhere, then move out of the way, letting your focused shots do the work. And now, Earthlight Ray, a card that's actually easier than it looks. You can move along slowly with it, or you can move quickly. It's your choice. You can either move slowly, luring the, st luring the stars along with you, or you can move quickly and allow large gaps in between the star series, I guess you should ca could call it. Finally, Magi Cannon. This is her last word, so once again, just points. Shoot, aim, then move up to the side and let your regular shots do the work. Repeat, repeat, repeat this card takes a little while and just like master spark all it is is just mainly aiming and getting her to shoot the wrong direction in either case that's 4b in basically a nutshell Stay tuned for the next part when we show you, finally, Inside the Five, and we finally use the Boundary Team. Cobra One, out.